Hi everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to showcase version control of IntelliJ. So this is not specific to Rider. This is going to be implemented in all IDs by JetBrains which are going to be based on the IntelliJ platform. If you're going to go use PyCharm or IDEA, this, these skills are going to be transferable. But nevertheless, let's get started. If you still haven't grabbed the extension code, it's in the description. Installation instructions are there as well. So first of all, let's take a look at this repository system and as in, same as in the previous videos, you can go ahead and uh, type in repository in your actions and access the menu that way. Uh, so this is uh, primarily a visualization tool. So you can go ahead, click on whichever commits, you can select the file, you can take a look at the file, you can double click on the file and you will get a bigger window of the changes that have occurred in that commit essentially. So let's close that. Uh, another thing you can search. So by like match, uh, you can filter by branches. So you can select different branches. So if we go into recent, so any branch in there. Uh, if you're working in a big team and you're hunting down a user based on what he did, you can filter by users. You can filter by date. So you can uh, select by like an ad hoc, ad hoc date. So you can query it basically. And then you can select folders, so you can basically zoom in on the files that you actually want to see changes to, right? And you will see all the commits where the changes to these files have been applied. So this is pretty much for visualization and uh, filtering through these commits. Other useful commands to sort of navigate to commits and repositories, etc. are your control backtick, and uh, that will bring you to the branch menus. And I guess j let's just go over the commands first. Uh, repository is the first one. Repository. Uh, VCS is another one. So this is like your central panel for version control. Uh, by the way, IntelliJ supports different version control systems. I'm primarily going to cover Git because that's what I use. You can go ahead into here and we'll get a buttload of actions. Commit, update the commit. Uh, Button is also available in the top left corner, so we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, the more uh, interesting uh, option is this Git drop-down window. So if you know Git, you will know what these actions are doing. I'm not here to teach you Git, but this is essentially how you would access these. And you can, of course, keep buying the VCS window, and you can easily go to like the tag option, merge option, and of course, you can go ahead and type these in the action window as well. All right, so let's go ahead and make a change. I'm going to go open a program.cs file. I'm going to create something like, uh, I don't know, oh, prop. Uh, let's say string bob. All right, and now I have a string bob. It's not used. That's all right. Uh, let's say I want to commit it. Uh, I still get her highlighting here. And uh, of course, I can click on this file and I can essentially basically say untick any changes that I've done. So going through these files, you can double check everything that you've done and the description that you're going to be filling out is of course going to be a little bit better than just committing from the command line because here you can see all the changes that you've done. So it's it's going to be refreshing your memory. So if you care about commit messages, this is definitely a bonus for you. Another thing, let's say I don't want this change. Let's go ahead and roll back. So I'm just going to right click and from the menu, I'm going to select roll back okay again that was committing uh, this button here and of course you can access it from this menu as well now again uh, let's go to this vcs vcs uh, menu and in the git section i'm gonna go ahead into branches and what we can do here is essentially control our branches and uh, i'm gonna be from this point on i'm gonna be using the keybind control shift back tick to access this menu and here we can create a new branch we can switch between branches so on the current branch i can rename it push it other branches i can check them out i can merge i can see differences i can check out rebase again i'm not doing a tutorial on git this is just how convenient it is, it is to access these functions and the functions that are provided to you all right so if we want to check out we just check out and again if we want to check out uh, to something else and by the way the current selected branch is displayed with this little tag icon. So feature uh, dash upload is the current one. If I switch to feature slash Russian, 
Now that's the one that's going to have the tag icon now. Let's say I want to create a branch, something like feature slash test. Let's create that. So now we're on the test branch. And if we go here, we can see that this is the one that's checked out. So you can't delete it on here. But let's say we go back to the Russian branch and we no longer want this test branch. We can go ahead and delete it here at the bottom. OK. And of course, you get these messages in the bottom left in case you accidentally deleted it and you want to restore. And this is still going to be available in your event log. So if you've done it like 10 hours ago, you can still do that. Now that we basically know how to commit, switch between branches. And by the way, you get all your remote branches. So if you need to grab a remote branch, you can go ahead, check that out. It's going to download it and uh, you will have that branch as your local branch as well. So that's all basic controls. Uh, let's uh, see for a more advanced situation where you would use tools like Git Kraken, etc., to sort of help you with merges. So I have this branch here, which is uh, feature slash video upload. I want to go ahead and merge it into feature slash Russian, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, go into my branches. I'm on feature slash Russian, and I'm going to go ahead, click on video uploads. I'm going to merge into current, right? So here I get a window that is essentially asking me to resolve merge conflict. So I can go ahead, click on merge and see the changes on the left. I will have the current branch on the right. I will have the branch that I'm trying to merge. So you can check the names at the top above these lists in the middle is what you are going to end up with. And the highlighted lines are essentially where the change is going to be occurring and the Darker or lighter shade of blue is basically what's going to be removed. So if you want to accept the removal, you press these arrows. If you want to decline the removal, you say ignore. So if I press accept, the stuff is going to be removed. So these are essentially changing from open and close tag to self closing tags, right? So I'm pretty confident with this change. This is translation. Yep, aware of that. Self closing. Yep, yep, good. Translation again. I want to pretty much accept the newest stuff. And I'll accept this as well. Let's apply, apply and uh, resolve uh, conflicts. And essentially this uh, file is now gone from the menu. We can then, uh, of course, uh, just say, right, everything that's in the newer branch is going to override what's been in the older one. So let's just accept yours in all of them, right? So yours is the current branch. We'll accept all of that. Let's go take a look. And here is our merged branch. Okay, now let's say, this merge has completely messed up my application, nothing runs, etc. Uh, what do I do, right? So from this window, uh, this is primarily a visualization window, but you can do some neat stuff here as well. Uh, a few, a couple of actions are, for example, reverting commits and resetting to commits can be done very easily. So any commit that I want to reset to, so for this example, I'm just going to reset to the previous one. I'm going to go ahead, right click it, and I'm going to say, reset current branch to here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, press that. And here you, again, if you know Git, you know what this will mean, but, but essentially I want the hard reset. So I'll remove all the changes to files. Let's go ahead and reset that. And now the merge has been nullified because that has, that's what the changes on that commit were. And I'm back on this branch. Now let's say I had a error that happened a few commits back. Let's go ahead and see what I can do about that. So for example, uh, we'll take a look at these skill selection fixes. And let's say some kind of bug has been introduced there. What I can do is I can right click and I can press revert commit. This will bring up a menu that will let you sort of cherry pick what changes you want to revert. But for now, there is a merge conflict. So let's go ahead and sort, sort this out. So let's say I want this, I want this, I want this here, and I want this here. Okay, let's apply that. Oh, and it looks like we forgot about one, and we're going to ignore it. Okay, let's apply. And for this one, I'm just going to accept yours on here. And this is the window that I was talking about. So this is where we're essentially going to be able to cherry pick and commit the changes straight away. So let's go ahead into this edit profile let's say uh let's say all of it was a introduction to a bug and let's just commit this and uh, again i guess we can review whatever that was and there was nothing there uh, 
so that was a commit so we can go back to the commit menu and take a look at what has happened here uh, and again these are the same messages let's go ahead and commit these changes that we were about to revert okay so i want all of these to be changed let's go and commit and i'm gonna skip the to reviewing the to do and i'm just gonna go ahead and commit this now again uh, going to here because this was an example i don't actually want this commit here and i'm gonna reset it now by the way if you're wondering what happened to the other files that, that were present in this commit so if i go to the skill selection fixes there were essentially three files here on the skill selection and on the shared js because there were merge conflicts i essentially said right just keep uh, keep the current changes on the current branch so we didn't accept the merge from the previous changes of this commit of what we did we kept the current changes for those files and the only changes that we accepted is this edit profile right if you work with git you are already going to be familiar with these problems and you're going to know how to think about these and uh, again for demonstration purposes this has been a test branch just know that you can revert specific branches and specific files for example even just right clicking on the file and reverting selected changes all right but I'm going to go ahead and reset to current branch to undo the previous commit that I've just done. Okay, and now I'm essentially back where I've started. This will be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Make sure to share other features that you think are interesting about Writer and I haven't mentioned. Don't forget to join the Discord server, and hopefully I'll see you in my other videos.